Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac, Wrath of the Lamb Edition. So, we know for a fact, if you've seen the last last episode, that the Polaroid Trinket does exist in my game, it's just a matter of finding it. So we're just gonna basically do the same thing that I did when I was looking for the Parasite and Mom's Knife, except with the addition of a random button. So we're gonna play the game, we're gonna do the best we can, uh, but we're mostly just not gonna stress out about it too much. We're just gonna play it, try not to get the tick. Hey, that's a good uh, first bomb right there. Although I probably should have used that bomb to get the four bombs in here. Hopefully that doesn't end up costing me too, too bad. Um, yeah, that was a poor decision on my part. I apologize, I've just woken up. Let's see if we can persevere in spite of that. But anyway, uh, yes, as I mentioned, we did get the uh, Polaroid Trinket, or we saw the Polaroid Trinket last time. Sadly, I had already accidentally, in fact, and it was like, truly accidentally. God, ah, oh, God, I didn't know which way these guys were gonna, gonna chase me down. Um, so I accidentally picked up the tick, and of course when you have the tick, you can't pick up any other trinkets for the rest of the game, and I was kind of pissed off, but we, you know, made it work anyway. Thank God we got that bomb, so my mistake is averted. Reroll that to get S-Shots. You know what, I would love to reroll that again, because I feel like S-Shots is not even a good item. Like, it's... At best, it's like a neutral item. Like it, it's a, it's not an upgrade or a downgrade. It's a side grade. But oftentimes, I kind of feel like it's uh, a downgrade. So I want to let's just put this bomb here. That should be enough to blow up these two rocks. Yes. Okay. There we go. Should not have a bomb problem anytime soon. And because we are on the basement part one, that means likely we will be able to find the secret room. And hopefully, uh, you know, I would rather reroll the S shots and try to get something amazing from the treasure room. Then reroll the uh, whatever we get from the boss room because I mean the boss room items are not always great. There's a good chance we'll get like a speed upgrade or a range upgrade, but you know that's fine by me. And I think that would beat getting uh, S shots, which you know may or may not be useful at all, really. Let's see what we got up top, just flies, no big problem. Of course, I'll shoot this poop because I'm here already. We're good for keys now. I definitely will not get another crack. At, um, let's shoot all this poop because I need the money. I definitely will not get another crack at re-rolling. So we'll re-roll the treasure room, hopefully get something, you know, truly amazing. If not, so be it. We will just head down to the next floor with hope in our hearts that we'll get something good from whatever boss we fight right here. But for now, let's see, I've got five bombs and I think there's two possible locations for the secret room. We could end up going to the shop here. Let's re-roll this quickly. Um... Yeah, sure, well, you know what, why not? Mr. Mega gives us five extra bombs, and we get extra blast damage as well. It's not bad. Again, uh, I think it's the second time in a row I've gotten it, or at least the second time in quick succession. And ideally, we would get, like, fetus in a jar at some point to really make this work as best as possible. Well, that sucks. Uh, maybe I'm missing something. We might as well check out this last room down here. I don't know where else it could be. Like, I don't want to waste too many more bombs, but there's... Oh, was this Curse of the Lost? I think it was Curse of the Lost. So we might have, you know, more difficult rooms here or something. Or more difficult for us to find the secret room anyway. Alright, well, I've wasted four of the bombs that I picked up from the five of Mr. Mega. Let's see what we got from Larry Jr. here. Hey, we got a Tinted Rock. That's something important. That will be enough. Wow! Well, we got more bombs out of it. So I can't be too sore about those bombs that have been lost. No poop to get in my way here. Could plant one bomb and basically be done with Larry Jr. That's the other thing. If we got Pyro right now, we would basically be like fetus in a jar anyway. 99 bombs. Each one. Oh god, he's stuck. Works for me. <laughs> I guess he got stuck in the poop. Like his head was in the one set of poop and his body was in the other. I'll definitely take that. Um, Quickly check for like the secret room up here. I mean, we got bombs on this room, so I don't know. I don't know. We'll head down to the next floor. Uh, I totally forgot what I was going to say. Oh, if we got Pyro, it would basically be like getting... Curse, or uh, basically be like getting Fetus in a Jar. Hey, we found the secret room by accident. That makes up for all of my foibles on the last floor. Health upgrade. That is not a health upgrade. But that is enough money to go to the shop. And now I'll just get the hell out of here. I don't know why I was hoping for Spirit Hearts at some point there. but Okay, don't, don't trap me in here. God, I hate these jerks. Perfectly choreographed like a delicious, elegant ballet. Just to fuck me over. Okay, come on. Come on. I just need you to get in this lane. Okay, 
There's a key, we'll get that in a second. First, do we want... Well, okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get this. We're gonna press space bar. We're gonna take this pill. Bombs are key. Don't like it. We're gonna re-roll this. Chemical peel. Okay, that's good enough. That's a damage upgrade on half of our shots anyway. So that bombs are key pill. Um, you know, I guess it's nice to have a lot of keys, but... I could certainly use more bombs, considering I have substantial damage from them, but that's alright. We'll make use of these keys as soon as possible, because obviously we are going to want to go to the shop. Chemical Peel's nice, it gives us a damage upgrade on, I guess, our left half, the left half of our shots. We look like William Wallace or something. And I will probably, ah, uh, you know, we'll visit the shop first, and then if I need to, I will go fight another room in order to get my D6 recharged, and we can get better items as a result. Of course, now that we got bombs are key, we're getting a ton of... Ooh, we don't need to reroll this. We'll just take the candle and move onwards. So there we go. It's uh, the earliest I've gotten rid of the D6 in a... Whoa, he's so fast. It's the earliest I've gotten rid of the D6 in a while. Lust is pretty fast. But he's dead now. We have a pill that is explosive diarrhea. Okay. Worth holding? Probably not, but we could use that to potentially find, like, a secret room. In fact, I'm gonna come back and use it here. We'll see if I can make this work. Okay, I'm guessing that the secret room was not in there and it was not poor bomb placement. But I did my best, you know, sometimes that's gonna work, sometimes it's not. So we'll continue onwards with the candle here, allowing us to do some pretty substantial damage. That was a great choke point right there, and we've basically reached the end of this floor. Another one of these in here, drop a bomb in here for whatever this Tinted Rock contains. Yeah, that's fine, we get a Spirit Heart and a bomb out of it, which is probably the ideal situation, actually. Ideal, of course, oh, I can easily kill the, the little one first here if I wanted to. Uh, ideal, of course, because I, I need that bomb for, you know, potentially getting to treasure chests or, you know, items at some point. For now, we're just gonna keep backing it up against this Larry Jr. Or, the Gemini is what I meant to say. Fire is going to be amazing for us. There we go. Very easy. Health upgrade. Satan, what do you got for me? Rage for two. Why not? I mean, it's... I, I never feel good about doing it because you can find rage so easily. But I can't... I don't know. I, I think it's okay. I think we'll be fine. I don't think that's going to that's gonna break us here. If it does, then that sucks. But, you know... Basically, that's like we've traded those two health upgrades that I've gotten so far for a Rage, which is cool enough, I suppose. So obviously we'll be on the lookout for another 5 cents here, so I can visit the shop and potentially get something awesome again. Why is the neutral fly so hard to kill? So we got conga line. Easy peasy, we got neutral fly. Slightly harder for one reason or another. I really dig the candle as an item, especially when I don't have to micromanage like another item. Like, what did I, what did I have the candle on last time? It, it was very difficult for me to, to use both of them well. I think it might have been Epic Fetus, or it might have been Ipecac. In fact, Ipecac seems more likely. Mm, probably don't want to waste a bomb going to that just yet. Um, yeah, so I had like Ipecac, so I had to focus on every single shot from Ipecac. So I never really used my my candle that much. But we are going to use it all the time here because all I have to do is, you know, focus on. Making sure my shots go in as, as quickly as possible in the general area. Where it scales really well with rage too, especially on enemies like this that spawn a bunch of like smaller enemies. Because, wow that was easy. Because obviously it racks up those kills for us. We got tiers plus range upgrade here. I don't think that the Jesus dude gives you extra damage anymore. Uh, which kind of sucks, oh well. I mean otherwise it would be almost as good as an all stats upgrade. It would just need like some extra speed. That didn't kill it. Uh, it would almost. It would just need some, like some extra speed and I guess health up as well, which would be obviously awesome. Uh, but you can't have too many all stats upgrades in the game. But I guess things start becoming pretty goddamn easy. We'll use one of our remaining bombs here to pick up two bombs again. That's pretty good. I can't complain too much about that. Brass knuckles is going to be another great tier effect for us. Seems like we're getting uh, uh, this item a lot. Two bombs. We could look for the secret room, which would be great. Like it's it's somewhat high risk because we could lose these bombs and you know never get them back. But it's also high reward because if we find money, um, we can then of 
course, visit the shop. Potentially buy something awesome. I could also deal with... The, I could also deal with an arcade. Because there's a blood bank. If there's a blood bank, I should say. Uh, there's a lot of health on this floor that I have not picked up. We got the world card here. That shows us where the secret room is. It might even be worth using on this floor. There's our 11 cents. Kind of scared about... Oh, perfect. Just opened up a path for me to get to him. Excellent. It is another explosive diarrhea pill, which we'll actually use once we get down here. Because... Can I... There we go. Because... Uh, I can maybe use this to try to find a secret room as well. Oh, got lucky and found a scent in that poop. Toss in some flames here. Could go to the self-sacrifice room, but I don't... Why not? <laughs> I'm a little low on health. I was kind of expecting to run into a room full of spiders, to be honest with you. We'll continue our exploration here. Got to be coming fairly close. To the end of uh, the end of the floor here. I mean, we've already discovered all of the rooms that I would consider to be good rooms, at least you know by first glance. And now I'm starting to feel like I could use some extra health. But we will uh, look for the secret room here. Found absolutely nothing of the sort. Let's pop open the world card. Okay, it was over there. I don't mind wasting the world card to get to the secret room. And getting to a fortune teller, that sucks a little bit. Hopefully we can get a trinket, though. If we can get a trinket and maybe a spirit heart, I'll consider this worthwhile, even if I do end up spending all 12 cents or whatever I had. Come on. Just be nice. Well, we're back to full health. That was unexpected. Uh, and pretty terrible. What are we missing now? Uh, there's another pill up here, but I need to waste a bomb to get to it. You know, I got eight keys. You might as well take a look and see. Maybe we'll get greed and we'll get some extra money. Well, we got the steam sale. We got a key ourselves. <laughs> of course, that would have taken me almost to 15 cents. Um, uh, it's all right. We can live without it. Obviously, it would be best to have, but... We can live without the steam sale. We just need to get a quarter off someone at some point. Or, you know, fight greed who drops like 80 cents himself. Oftentimes. So, ideally, I want to get, like, one good fire shot down here. Well, that wasn't really what I anticipated. Can you open this lane up for me a little bit, please? Thank you. I'm not sure. That might have been my range that just got to him there. And still, of course, looking for the Polaroid, which may or may not be a pipe dream. I don't know how often it shows up. What we really want to do here something, yeah, along those lines, but I want to get more people caught in the crossfire, like that. Yeah, okay. Much better. So now we are getting money hand over fist, which means we'll probably be fighting greed on this floor. Naturally. And now I could use some health upgrades. I mean, I realize you reap what you sow, and I traded some health. Is explosive diarrhea again? Oh, bombs are key. Yeah, we'll hold on to that. Um, like I said, I realize you reap what you sow. And I, I traded my hearts for rage, but that's not to say that you know I feel bad about my decision. Just that I could use some more health upgrades right now. I mean, I'll pick up this health, even though it's kind of a waste of a half heart. We got a treasure room. What's up, treasure room? Give me fetus in a jar. That would be fantastic. Speedball. So that's shots. Oh my god, I hate that shit. Uh, the shot speed up. And regular speed up, and something else. Might be a damage upgrade, I don't know. And we got Eiffel Ooze guys. More like awful Ooze guys. Sorry guys, I didn't mean that. <laughs> that was out of line. Chariot is Unicorn Horn. Bombs are key. Chariot is Unicorn Horn. Bombs are key. Uh, shoot this. See if we can get an extra cent out of it. I don't have the hearts to go. Well, we're definitely not fighting greed. Uh, I don't have the hearts to go. To the mob trap room, unfortunately. No, nope, troll bombs, get away. And our chariot. Boom. Two chariot cards? Come on. I don't want to use that bombs or key pill yet, but it might be better to use that and then carry the chariot to the boss room or something. Let's get back to full health. We could use the chariot card in the mob trap room here, and that will make that easy for us. 
I would rather use more keys before I use bombs or key. Well, this is one way to do it, I guess. Hey, there's enough money to make a shop worthwhile. I don't even need to use the chariot, at least not on these guys. Maybe I'll use it on the on the last enemies in the room. Oh, that was close. Okay. Maybe we'll get some more bombs as well. Of course, I would prefer to use bombs or key after we get a couple more bombs. Even though I guess I would need to less after I did that, because my main problem right now is having not a lot of bombs. Well, I certainly don't need to use the chariot card. Would have been a total waste, but that's okay. We will now make our way over to the shop. We're basically just pretty lucky to be on the caves. We'll probably fight a boss I know and well. Or I know well. Maybe not know and love, but certainly know well. Uh, I'm trying to think if we got the pony. Would I rather have flying or the candle? I think I've, I've dealt with that exact same decision before in the past. There's our shop. Can't believe I got hit there, but luckily I didn't waste that half heart on the last floor. Hey, there's a trinket for us. Ace of spades, I assume it just makes our luck higher. Which is something that I can live with, because I've been, you know, getting a lot of explosive diarrhea pills. Yeah, you know what, nap's not a great 15 cent item, but it will show us the location of the secret room, which will allow us to get more items, hopefully. So I'll use a bomb. Ah, you know what, I'm not going to use a bomb. What I'm going to do is go back get this bomb's our key pill. All the way back here, unfortunately. Use that immediately. Pick up the chariot card, then I will use a bomb, because we've used all the keys we're going to use on this floor. I'm assuming, unless I come across a plethora of golden chests, which is probably unlikely. So now we need these bombs. We'll pop these bad boys down here. Pick up fetus in a jar, or epic fetus. Okay, well I'm probably not going to be able to aim the candle at the same time. But there are huge bonuses to having Epic Fetus, of course, like being able to find the other secret room very, very easily. Wow, that is a lot of health. Um, hopefully I don't need that, but if I do, I know where to come. So I guess I'll use the candle to try to hit the uh, enemies that are coming close to me. Well, that was not a good start. Well, candle certainly works in conjunction with Epic Fetus. I was worried that it would shoot too much, uh, like that it would shoot the nuke out directly in front of me. I hate that room. <laughs> I will never enjoy that room right there. Uh, you know what? Better safe than sorry. Let's walk all the way back here and pick up half a heart from that room with a thousand hearts in it. Epic Fetus has been getting... It seems like it drops a lot more lately, which I am certainly a fan of. You know what? We might as well go to the self-sacrifice room as well, because, I mean, there's tons of hearts in here, obviously. And that's going to give us the pact for extra damage. And two spirit hearts, which is the, the real, I guess, winner there. Pack gives us other stats upgrades as well, I'm not sure. But, you know, for now, we'll just take on these hearts. And we do have the chariot card. I wonder if I can use the chariot card when going into self-sacrifice rooms, if that would save me from taking damage. If so, that, that's worthwhile, especially if you're dealing with a blue baby type character who has health that is not easily replenishable. But anyway, I digress. We got Pestilence. Pestilence is, by and large, a joke. Who will be killed? Yeah, basically immediately. <laughs> this cube of meat, and down to the next floor. If we could just find the Polaroid, I think I almost have enough. I almost have enough upgrades to, to make it worthwhile. Let's just blow the shit up out of this. Um, not quite yet. I need a little bit more health, I think. But I'm getting there. And certainly, uh, I feel like with the ability to find secret rooms at every corner, it won't be so difficult for me to, to find health, should I need it. Okay, made it out of that. Might as well. Get a tarot card here for Wheel of Fortune. Well, we'll use that and explode it to pick up Child's Heart, which gives us more heart drops. Probably not necessary right now. Super Envy. How about Super Candle? Okay. Probably more of an efficient use of my time to use the Epic Fetus here to take out everything as opposed to the candle. It's all good. I don't know why, but I'm, I'm finding it much... Oh, almost hit myself there. I'm finding it much easier to aim with the keyboard with this than I used to. I guess it's just practice. People keep telling me to use the mouse, but I don't want my mouse pointer to be on the screen. These people go crazy over that for some reason. I guess I understand it. Let's check for the secret room quickly. Might as well. We're in here. It's, it's fast as hell. Nothing? Hmm... Don't... I gotta remember, we're not flying yet, which is rare for me at this point. 
Not to say that I'm super amazing at the Wrath of the Lamb, but more to say that the flying items seem to show up all the goddamn time. There's our Sun card, which we will save as long as possible, of course. Another HP upgrade. That's big. That's why I've been trying to go to the Mob Trap room more often lately. Open some more golden chests. You never know when you might find something like that contained therein. I lost half of the Spirit Heart there, I think. Indeed, I did. Zombies. Uh, Epic Fetus. In case you didn't notice, pretty good counter to zombies. Let's check quickly for what I perceive to be a possible secret room location over here. Nope. How about over here? Now we're over here. Nothing doing. Well, that's fine. Still got our sun card. Got more health than we did a minute ago. Pretty much no reason to go to the shop. We should fight the boss right away, though, just in case we get the opportunity to fight Krampus. Oh, this could be amazing or terrible. I'm guessing more amazing than terrible. It seems to be going fairly well so far. We get Book of Belial, uh, which I don't think benefits us at all. We get Guppy's Head and Ouija Board. Uh, neither of them are, are that useful to me. Guppy's Head is almost tempting. The reason Guppy's Head is, is tempting is because um, like, I'm not using the candle anyway. I could remember to use Guppy's head on every room, but the fact that it would cost me two red hearts to get is, f quite frankly, insane. If it was only one, I might consider it. But even still, like, I don't know, I don't know how much benefit the flies are going to give me when I'm already dropping, like, nuclear bombs on everything I come across. Got the lover's card. Might as well pop that, you know, you never know, we might come across an arcade or something. Checking for secret rooms. Hey, there we go. Okay, awesome. God forbid they had a trinket or something that was actually, you know, useful to me in them. Just kept our cool there. Should be easy enough. Excellent. We got push pin. I don't know what it does. We have the stars, which takes us to the item room, because this saved me a key. Yes, it will. Uh, it'll give me a tears upgrade, though, which I'm not even sure if that matters with the uh, item that I'm using. Of course we will hold on to the sun because obviously that is going to be a fantastic card for us at some point in the game. Oh, I didn't mean to blow him up! <laughs> I actually wanted to, I wanted to use him for items because there was so much health available on this floor. That was bad. Only got one leaper left. Still surprisingly difficult to deal with because of all the damn turrets. We did lose our last spirit heart there. But we're fine. Of course. Still only four heart containers, but is that all we need? I'm not quite sure yet. Man, we're getting a lot of heart drops. Is that what Ace of Spades does? Because I think that's also what Child's Heart does. But anyway, we're going to be fighting Mom on the next floor. I assume that boss fight is going to go reasonably reasonably quickly. It's going to be like Mike or um, yeah, Mike Tyson versus Michael Jack Johnson. If you've never seen that fight, feel free to take about 45 seconds to YouTube the duration of it. Spoilers, um, Mike Tyson kills a dude, Ivan Drago style. Definitely worth seeing if you're, uh, if you're a fan of watching men die on camera. I'll wait! But for now, uh, I am gonna yeah, ignore Book of Belial, because I don't think it has any effects. I think Candle is actually more useful right now. And we'll just head on down to the next floor, where I will immediately make use of that secret room. Yeah, it's probably worth the key at this point. Fool card takes us back to the spawn. So we'll ignore that. Maybe it wasn't worth it. Super Greed. We'll be super dead super soon. Wow, lots of money. It means that the shop is worthwhile, and we know we're not going to run into Greed. Because we ran into him as a mini-boss. Literally like a second and a half ago. Were you not paying attention? This is terrible dodging on my part, but hopefully this will be like the last floor where there's just going to be red hearts galore. There you go, pick up that scent. That wasn't that hard, was it? Almost. <laughs> ah, we're in candle territory here because I can't shoot these things scurrying at me so quickly. No, 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 no. Candle. There we go. Okay, now. I, I got it sorted out. No extra drops, which is kind of disappointing. Blood Bank is something I wanted on the last floor. Umbilical Cord gives us the chance to get a little Steven or a Brother Bobby when we get down to half a heart. Hopefully that's something that is not going to be useful. Remember, of course, that... The sun is also 
uh, a full health pill. So if I can use it as a full health pill, I will feel that that will be the best thing for me. But I would rather not use it as a full health pill on the depths part too. I would rather save that for a little bit later. We got a Tinted Rock here. Spirit Arm, we got tons of tarot cards. We got the Fool again. We got the Emperor, it takes us directly to the boss. Sun card is still better, although the Emperor is really good for um, later floors. If I could carry two tarot cards, I would. Of course, checking for secret rooms very quickly. We'll get the heck out of here, and... It was the Fool card, if I remember correctly. Just should be checking for secret rooms a little bit more religiously. Quickly check back here again. Uh, I'm keeping the Blood Bank alive, because obviously... I would love to get a little bit of extra health, if possible. An extra heart container would be nice. So we'll see if we get more heart drops on this floor. I'd say it's probably pretty likely, to be honest with you. I wonder if Rage stacks with Epic Fetus. I guess it doesn't matter, because Epic Fetus does so much damage in its own right. But still, it w I guess it would be nice, because I did pay for it. So we have a heart there that we could use. Yep, just blow yourself up there, no problem. Almost got tagged there, as I think you guys all saw. Dodges have been all right right there. Perfect. Okay, treasure room, what do you got for me? Bomb bag. Could not be more useless considering the situation I'm in right now. Let's quickly check over here for secret rooms. Could also be up here, maybe? I don't know. Or down here. Those were the shot, I guess. Just exploding the poop. Uh, yeah, bombs largely useless, but, you know, we got keys. Let's check out what we got in this chest. More bombs and money. We got a pill that is good. Well, it's not horrible, I suppose. Um, what we will do, I guess, is we can afford to play this Blood Bank one time. And then we'll come back to that a little bit later, if we can. I want to be a little bit cautious about my health. Where did my sun card go? Oh, it's back in the item room, so I do have to make my way back up there anyway. Oh, well. It's all going alright so far. There we go, back to full health. Obviously, I want to hold on to that sun card, because worst case scenario, I kind of need that. Oh, what a waste of a key. Uh, it's in my best interest to hold on to it, I should say. I hate those blue spiky things. So we got another chub here. Totally missed him with the fire. Should take out that nub. Why not? We're not in any rush. Fire is still better against enemies like this, I think. Oh, there's another heart we can use. Fork gives us random life steal. That may actually be more important. Yep, that was smart right there. Uh, let's just take our, our full health. Or, uh, yeah, we'll take our full health here. Uh, Isaac's Fork may be more important because I seem to be taking a lot of stupid damage recently. Not a, not too much of a man to admit it. I can't open that yet. God damn it. I like desperately need some keys. All because I wasted a key on that last room. That's going to cost me some backtracking, if nothing else. Quickly checking for secret rooms. Hey, there we go. Something amazing, please. Play it two times. Mom's Pearl. Uh, I don't want to... I don't want to... I want the fork. I guess let's, let's play it until we get to 20 cents. Because maybe I can get the Polaroid out of this. Delicate balance between spamming to try to... Well, okay. Between spamming to try to get the Polaroid... Uh, and trying to save money to make the shop worthwhile so that maybe I can actually succeed on this run. I don't know. Well, we are not going to open that golden chest yet as much as I would like to. We got Judgment, who we may, you know, inquire about his services a little later. Uh, depending on how much money I spend at the shop right here. I would love to, at the very least, buy a better, uh, maybe a passive or a good spacebar item. Wow. No, no, that's terrible. Um, but what we will buy is another key. And then we will go over here and give almost all of our money to Judgment in the hopes that he will give us maybe like a Book of Revelations or you know, a flying type item. What do you got for me, Judgment? Something absurdly bad, probably. Like a Bible. Eh, I'm sure the Bible wouldn't be so bad right now. I'm waiting. That's seven cents, I think. Two of hearts doubles our existing heart containers. Not as good as the sun, obviously, but it's a good card. A card that we probably won't be able to use, sadly. Oh, you know what? I will absolutely be able to, be able to use it. Okay, Horror Babylon. Never going to come in handy if, if I have my way. But what we can do now is go back and play the, the Blood Bank at least twice. 
I was really hoping for a Lord of the Pit or something from him. Uh, yeah, we can play, or sorry, at least four times, then use two of hearts anyway, just to make sure we get a use out of this card. So there's two, three, and four. And then I think there's extra hearts, so we can play this maybe like another two times. Well, if nothing else, we got a lot of money out of it right there. Uh, enough to bring us back to 17 cents. You know, should we come across a second judgment or something, we'll be in a very good position to deal with that. But for now, just move onwards. Hopefully I will be able to get this heart in here, otherwise... Oh, I can't, right? Um, instead, what we'll do is go to the mob trap room. Oh, I can't! <laughs> I was going to say I'll go to the mob trap room now that I finally have the key to pop open that chest, but sadly, uh, I, I can't... Okay, now we're good. Now we do this, and we use this key to open the mob trap room chest, which hopefully contains another health upgrade in it. I don't know. We're being very thorough here. We're at 31 minutes, and we haven't even finished... We haven't even fought Mom yet, but that's okay. Better to be thorough than, than to rush through things, for sure. That was definitely worth it. We got a spirit heart out of it. You know, if we can avoid taking damage, that would be fantastic as well. Oh, that didn't hit any of them? That must have hit, like, right in the middle where... where Oh, that was bad. Okay. Stop talking for a second. Just get this done. And then we got Eiffel Ooze guys who are fast, but, you know, largely pretty dumb. Actually, that's not true. Their, uh, their AI is really good. But, hopefully my, my NI, that's natural intelligence, just made that up. Uh, it's it's going to be better. So drop this down. Why not finish him off with a candle just for style's sake? Cool, and uh, now we can move onwards. I'll pick up the Sun card, and hopefully the Polaroid at some point. We have found both of the secret rooms here, so there's no more fortune tellers awaiting me. And I think we've, we've basically exhausted our thoroughness on this floor. Unless we find a lot of red hearts. Oh, can't do anything there. Uh, a lot of red hearts that I could use to play the blood bank a little bit more. One thing I could have done differently is just blown up the slot machine, I guess. Magician, homing tears. Kind of already have have directed tears, so I don't really need those. Oh, that was a good bomb. That was a less good bomb. That was an alright bomb. Two out of five stars. Another red heart. I'm not going to walk all the way back to the blood bank because I have one red heart sitting here. No, we'll, we'll make it work with what we got. Oh, get out of there. Uh, I think the hitbox on Mom's foot has been fixed. I, I guess it depends on your perspective of, of fix, but I think it's smaller now. Which is making these fights much easier for me in the past little bit than they have been, you know, when the Wrath of the Land first came out like a week ago. Just hitting it with fire when I can't hit it with um, my nuclear missile. One more hit should be enough to do it if I could actually hit it at some point. There we go. Range upgrade. Again, as usual, could not be more useless, but hey. Down on the next floor, uh, I want to save this sun card for a full health pill. We have the map already, so we know we know sort of where we can go to make things work. Should be looking for secret rooms at all times. Especially, you know, the secret rooms in the womb can make or break you. O oftentimes break you, but <laughs> sometimes make you. Depending on if you run into like a super greed or something. Not that I, I don't find super greed that bad as long as you have decent damage. I guess nothing in this game is that bad as long as you, as long as you have decent damage, though. Alright, so these guys are all dead. We know we have a secret room here. Contained therein is a slot machine. Which I will uh, promptly explode. Cool. Extra bombs. We'll look for... I, I guess, you know, we can come across libraries and stuff in the room. The womb is not a cold, dead place. It was either a, a fantastic musical reference or a gross comment, depending on your perspective. No secret rooms here? Guess not. Don't know why I went in here when I knew it was a dead end. Oh, okay, well, I guess that, that's vindicating. Could have used some keys there, honestly, but I'll survive. Hey, fortune teller, um, give me a ton of spirit hearts and preferably a trinket we know and love as the Polaroid. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> I can't believe that this game is going to troll me this hard. Well, it's not really trolling me, but it is pissing me off. We'll keep looking for spirit hearts in these rocks. You know, we got one more up here. Why not? Take our time. Try to get this bomb fly out of the way first. 
in there. Okay, keys, bombs. Self-sacrifice room. Uh, I could go to that. We do have some health drops, like, somewhere. There's our secret room again, but I've already been to it, so this... Okay, you know what? Self-sacrifice room, you're basically asking for it. Let's give you one. Cool. Alright, got a key out of that. And two cents, which I guess is not so bad, because, I mean, I do have the ability to just replenish my health fully right here. Basically traded a key for nothing. Hey, Spirit Hearts. Perfect. I'll just get that delivered. That was dangerously close. And another Spirit Heart, apparently. Might as well fight the boss right here. We're already here. We got Skolex. Come on, just... <laughs> Skolex will die in ne the next shot. That was probably the easiest boss fight I've ever had. Health upgrade is certainly welcome at this point. And down to the next floor, I suppose. We're gonna be dealing with the Wound Part 2. We're right next to the first secret room. Contains Greed. Hopefully, he only drops money-related items, right? The seam sale is worthless right now. We'll take it anyway, because, you know, I like to amass as many items as possible. And I guess we'll make our way down to the right. We're basically just trying to rush. See if we can get, uh, you know, to the boss room as quick as possible. Obviously, that was really easy. Bob's Rotten Head is not worth as much as the candle is to me. But I appreciate dropping a spacebar item this late in the game, but it could really help me out. Or tinted rocks, but no such luck. Okay, come on. I don't know how I was supposed to dodge that. Or that. Did I get slower when I picked up Epic Fetus? Okay, we made it through that. Let me guess that pill is probably gonna hurt me. Tears down. That's not a big deal, I think. I can live with that. It's been a marathon run, man. Quickly checking for Tinted Rocks, as usual. There is our boss trap room. We can't do anything about that, unfortunately. Don't really want anything to do with this room. I am just exploring basically every room I come across, though, because... There's no big loss. Like, these rooms are fairly easy to me, and I realize that that could backfire, me saying that fairly easily. But, but right now, things are fairly easy for me, so... I don't have to worry too much. Like, I'm, I'm still getting more advantages from exploring than disadvantages. At least by my perspective. Where are you going? There you go. Uh, another pill. Telepills. Yeah, you know what? Let's try it. Took us to the second secret room. Which has a Joker card in it, which... Takes us to... Satan's room? Oh, right. We can't really have, um... A Satan room on the second to last floor in the game, because it will always just take us to Shoal. That's unfortunate. If it was an angel room, could have gotten the ability to fly. Would have really put me over the top. Oh, that's super damage. You're still alive? It seems unlikely to me, but okay. Uh, again, we'll just go back and continue playing this fortune teller. Because, where's my sun card? My sun card disappeared. That's really cool. Oh no, it's probably back in the... Yeah, whatever. I'll get it. Please, just... Spirit hearts. Is that flat penny? I don't need the money right now. Um, Spirit Hearts and Polaroid. Okay. I'll, I'll take the tarot card as well. The world. That's nice. I'll save that for the cathedral. Ah, no, I won't save that for the cathedral. I can only take one down to the cathedral. You're paying out with trinkets very nicely. Uh, it's much appreciated, but not the right one. Okay, cool. I mean, we all die alone. You guys have seen Donnie Darko. There's a Spirit Heart. Okay, so it's already paid for itself because it's not like I'm going to use this money for anything else. And I guess we'll just bail... Is that my sun card all the way back here? Really? Or did I actually lose it? It is my sun card. Okay, well, continue exploring then. I kind of got confused about the order of things, like what happened there. We're alive. That is all that matters right now. We have an arcade, which means there is another um, fortune teller in it, possibly. That was a terrible dodge there. I'm not sure what I was thinking. Crisis averted. Thanks for the extra bombs. Let's go talk to whatever's in this arcade. Hopefully a fortune teller. Nope. So I guess we'll just play the shit out of these. Try to get as many red heart drops as possible and maybe, you know, play the blood bank. So we're back to full health. Now we can start thinking about playing the blood bank. Awesome. Some money. 
There's a little bit more money, uh, which is, I guess, important to us for one reason or another. Red hearts, come on. I was actually really hoping that would be it. Pills here. Explosive diarrhea. Well, we don't really need all this bomby stuff. No, I don't want to be here. Okay, there we go. That's one play. Which gives us another two cents. We could be here for a while. Give me the sun card. I, I don't want this. What does that mean to play us out? Okay, we, we got a pretty fly. We got another one play of the blood bank. Again, trying to be as thorough as possible. This could be like an hour-long run. Which is something that has not happened for a long time. Pretty fly is a good pickup, though. A little bit of added defense, of course. Get out of my face. Candle is actually kind of a good crowd control item. Yeah, I'll take the fly, love. That would be an okay pickup. Alright, never mind. I didn't want it anyway. Who told you that? Keys, not that useful. Really, just hearts. I, I just need hearts and trinkets, if at all possible. Ooh, that was close. We're almost done with this, I guess. Any second now. Okay, we're out of money. It means we'll blow you up for red heart, which means one more play. We got the tick, which... Oh, no! Well, let's console ourselves with the fact that it probably wouldn't have paid out anyway. But I'm not picking up the, uh, the tick, obviously. And if you, if you listen to the start of this video 40 minutes ago, you'll know why. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Crowd control. Crowd control. Oh, God, I'm hurting myself too much. Oh, but you know, there's hearts in the arcade room, so we're all good. If we just actually hit things, it would be better for us. Oh, man, okay. Got a lot of little envies poking around here. I was close to more damage to myself. Very quickly check for more spirit hearts. Desperately needed, because I'm an idiot apparently. And can't even fight Envy. Well, you know, I have bad items for fighting like small units who are fast. We'll pop back in here. I think it's fairly clear to us now uh, where the boss room is. It's up in the top right there. And hopefully we'll find uh, some kind of self-sacrifice room maybe? I don't know uh, what I would really be on the lookout for. I mean, an item room would be fantastic. Maybe a library. Book of Revelations would probably still be welcomed. Close dodge. Candle in here. Epic fetus. It's a weird... I, these are like some of the most powerful items I have, but I still don't feel like I'm strong enough to beat the game with them. I mean, it's possible. <laughs> Fuck me. Why don't we use one of our 36 bombs then, shall we? Or the fire we have. Really, anything else would have been a better option for choosing to kill this thing. So we take these guys out. What, it, what I consider to be fairly easily. What does this pill do? Health upgrade, I'm sure. Wow. Okay. I kind of didn't expect that. Explore this room before we bounce out of here. Uh, I don't really want to fight Mom right now because I'm going to use my remaining... Like, I'm going to use my Sun card to get full health at some point during the fight, which I don't want to do. Instead, I will come down here, I will try to get these remaining hearts, you know, get myself back on my feet in that regards, and hopefully I can have full health by the end of the mom's heart boss fight. Well, actually, you know what we can do here is just easily enough, yeah, blow that heart out of the way. Probably only have, yeah, one heart on here, but that's fine. We'll go into the fight half a heart down. And feeling a little bit more confident about our chances, but of course, like, once we get to the cathedral, things are going to get a little rough. If only... I guess the Emperor card would have been better than the Sun card, but the Sun card's full health ability seems so important. And the Necronomicon ability as well against the bosses. But anyway, I digress. We will fight. It lives. This is a fight that I've done with Epic Fetus several times. It is not difficult in the least. Mom's heart will die, like, unbelievably fast. The only downside, I guess, is that Monstro doesn't take damage when he's jumping. But otherwise, you know, a couple nuclear bombs to the face should be enough to sort him out fairly well. You know, we should be firing in the candle as well. Dropping things like that in there. Just to do a little bit of extra damage. Here comes the continuous bombs. Here comes the fire. And there comes the end of that fight. Well, I can easily get back to full health. Wait for the creep to dissipate, and then up to the cathedral, where hopefully things will turn out for me here. We got our map. I'm just going to gravitate towards the secret room, because I think that makes the most sense. Use the fire. Use the goddamn fire. That was not a good use of the fire. Oh, we killed the little guys first. 
which is rare. Okay, well, this is perfect. All right. Easy enough. Self-sacrifice room scares the shit out of me right now. But we will check for a second secret room, assuming there is one in the cathedral. Can't get to that without flying. Or with... I guess you got two choices. You can either fly to it, or you can take damage. I'm gonna choose, uh, neither. Three cents. That's clearly, uh, extremely valuable in my position right now. We got white bomb flies. Uh, the worst, biggest assholes in the entire game. But hey, Epic Fetus is a good counter to them, actually. Cuz, uh... Oh, mob trap room. Oh, that's bad. Never mind the mob trap room. Okay, where... How... Good. Good. Hey, there we go. Excellent. So the mob trap room is open again. I was hoping for something a little bit better than a, a single brown chest. The reason being, of course, that, you know, like a golden chest could have an item. Uh, a brown chest will not. <laughs> Almost certainly not. Well, this fight was easy. I guess I shouldn't count my chickens before they hatch, but we, we're done with that. Uh, don't... Nah, you know, I will explore this room. The reason behind that being... That I should be able to look for a secret room in here. And yeah, I didn't expect the room would be that difficult. There's a little bit of lifesteal for us, which is obviously useless, but hey. I got it there just in case. Kind of thing that could save our lives a little bit later. Alright, so we've explored this entire area over here with not too much. I guess my main hope right now... Full health pills. Or not full health, um, health up pills, like the ones we saw earlier. Okay, okay. Still alive. Very easy. Thank you, bomb bag. That was welcome. Gordon bomb bag? Coach of the Mighty Ducks? No. Okay, this is a real fistula. This is, this is the boss fight here. Not the boss fight for this floor, but this is a replica. Of the fistula boss fight. Normally when you... Oh, what was I thinking? Normally when you fight fistula, you get like a smaller version of him. Unless it is, uh, of course, the actual boss fight on the caves. Okay, we're alive. Lost some health. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me in the ass. Secret rooms are worthless. Cool. Uh, sun card looking like it might be a possibility here. I probably won't need to use it against Isaac. Full health. Friends till the end. Hey, that's something. Have I mentioned how much uh, I hate this room yet? Okay, crisis averted. Again, secret room checking. Just trying to be as thorough as possible, although inevitably I have missed some. That was a great shot by that gish. There's our second secret room. Hopefully contains just a fuck ton of hearts. Telepills, deal with the devil. Could get sun card and then like damage upgrade. I don't know how I feel about that. That was weird. So I just gotta make sure that if I get hit once, pop the sun card. It would be a shame to have to waste it before Isaac. I would rather waste it like two seconds into the Isaac fight if at all possible. But it might not be possible, you know? We gotta deal with realistic situations, not pipe dreams. Almost positive I was gonna get hit there. Well, assuming I don't touch the spikes here, we can maybe get something amazing in a judgment right before this fight. Probably a little unlikely. Let's see what our tarot card is here. The fool. Okay, it takes us back to the spawn room. The sun card is definitely gonna be... Like, without that sun card, this would be over. So I, I'm obviously gonna hold on to that. Yeah, I'm hoping, like, a lover's card or something. World? Okay, kind of useless now. Well, that was my last sense. And I'm not gonna get any more. So, you know what, Judgment? Fuck you. And with the sun card, I guess, here we go. Let's make it happen. First things first, we'll fire the candle. Fire a couple nuclear bombs his way. And the first time we take damage. Immediately! Going to pop this sun card. In fact, I was so serious about it, I just took a look to see what the, the hotkey for pills was, like pills and tarot cards, because I forgot for a second, and I didn't want to hit the space bar by accident when it was actually the Q key, obviously. Okay, well, things are going really well so far. I think the candle's doing good work. I'm just going to pop it right now. 
Just wanted to make sure that I didn't waste it. So we got four health left. Isaac has been killed. And we have succeeded, provided I could... Yeah, there we go. We have succeeded uh, in a long marathon run. But it was success nonetheless, so I will see you guys next time. Still no Polaroid, unfortunately. Uh, but that was a good run, I would say. Epic Fetus is always a fun item, and I was not overpowered. Definitely did have to manage my health. Sun card pretty much saved my life there. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. And hopefully I will be able to shake it like a Polaroid picture, as Andre 3000 so eloquently put.